this presentation I shall be talking about the recording techniques which are used in method study. These techniques uh, recording techniques are basically based on the, the photographic films, uh, cine uh, camera films and uh, the photographs uh, which are uh, taken using the conventional cameras. Uh, in addition to the recording techniques which are based on films and photography, uh, I shall also be covering the critical examination technique which is used to investigate the recorded details uh, of a given job by the various techniques for the purpose of improvement of the existing method or developing the new method. Uh, the, the techniques which are based on the uh, film, uh, one of them is the micro motion study technique. This technique is mainly uh, used for the short cycle operations uh, which are uh, repeated uh, thousands of the time in a day and these uh, uh, are carried out very quickly in, 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 in form of say packing of food uh, items in boxes putting of the things in a store. So, for uh, investigating that whether any irrelevant unnecessary movement is taking place while carrying out these short cycle activities or not. Uh, systematic investigation using the micro motion study technique uh, can be carried out. So, for the short cycle operations um, micro motion study technique is mainly used. Uh, purpose of the micro motion study technique is basically to find out the best possible pattern of the movement uh, and uh, if it is not there then to develop a method in such a way that the best possible pattern of the movement can be obtained so as to reduce the operator's fatigue and the time required for completing the same job. Under the micro motion study uh, there are various techniques. And, uh, and that is why it is called as a group of uh, techniques which uh, uh, are uh, uh, which is based on the use of films for the mic uh, for the study purpose and uh, therefore this is a group uh, this uh, is a group of techniques based on the use of the films known as micro motion study advantage of the micro motion study technique is that it provides the information in detail about the job which is to be carried out as compared to the eye observation and it is more accurate compared to that what can be obtained using pen and pencil and watch techniques and it is more convenient and at the same time it provides a positive record of uh, the method which is uh, being actually used for carrying out the job that can be used as evidence of uh, the existing method and uh, later on if uh, it is improved then the same can be used for the training of the workers after its modification. So, these uh, last two points are very important that it provides the positive record and uh, which can also be used for the training of the workers on the improved method subsequently. It is uh, the principle of the micro motion it is study is based on the idea of uh, dividing the human activities into the small division of the movements or group of the movements. So, like uh, uh, picking up the, of a job it can be divided into the reaching up to the job, grasping it and then uh, transporting it to the position where it is required. So, one operation of picking up of a job can be divided into three or more number of uh, the small division of the movements. So, uh, the similarly uh, a simple operation can be divided into large number of the division of the movements or the group of the movements. These division of the movements or group of the movements are known as thermalics and these were proposed by uh, Mr. Frank Gilbreth, uh, which is uh, the anagram of uh, his uh, his uh, name Gilbreth. So the thermalics are uh, the anagram of his name Gilbreth. So these uh, thermalics uh, were devised by the Mr. Uh, F. Gilbreth, and these uh, were seventeen fundamental movements which were devised by him 
related to the hand eye uh, uh, movements and their coordination subsequently one more thermalics was added thermalics have been extensively used for dividing a small uh, short cycle operation into the number of uh, a small division of the movements to critically analyze whether some of the movements are really required for completing the job or not. So, in that way the use of thermalics which are a division of the movements or group of uh, the movements help in very closely looking into the method which is uh, being actually used for performing the job. Each thermalics has been assigned one symbol, one letter and the color for the recording purpose because each thermalics has its own uh, has a specific uh, significance and uh, these uh, thermalics are uh, systematically used for recording purpose. These 17 thermalics are like the search activity here in, in, in the first row can be seen so the activity these are all activities and the symbol which is used to show these activities and their abbreviation and the color which is used to show these thermalics. The search is indicated by this sign and the abbreviation is SH indicated by the color black. Search thermalic is used when the uh, when operator is used is, uh, is uh, looks for a particular kind of the object which is required for further processing. So, he will be looking and he looking here and there to find out where the particular item or the type of item is available. Once he gets that, he will find uh, the, that particular item. The find, uh, find is about when he is able to see where is that particular item or the group of the items. If there are many items, then these will be shown by the select and the select symbol for the select is arrow and it is represented like ST and the color is the light gray. Uh, after selecting the object which is uh, to be picked up, um, there uh, the, it will be grasped by hand. The grasp is shown by the symbol of this kind and the uh, abbreviation is the shown by the red color. After grasping, it has it is required to obtain full control. Just putting the things uh, fingers around the object is grasping and uh, getting control over it is the hold which is represented by H and uh, color is uh, gold. Transport loaded when something has been uh, uh, controlled firmly by hand it is moved from one place to another and uh, that is shown by transport uh, loaded thermalix and the symbol for transport loaded is this one and the abbreviation is TL shown by the green color. The position putting uh, one particular component in the main assembly in the position where it is required is uh, the position and it is shown by this symbol and the abbreviation is P shown by the blue color. Assembly putting the two things together to get the final product is uh, two or more things together to get the final product is called assembly and uh, assembling thermalix where well, like putting nut and bolt together is, is an example of assembly shown by the letter A and uh, uh, the color is violet and uh, the use using a particular tool or the machine is indicated by uh, the symbol of this form and the letter is U and the color used to show the use uh, uh, thermalix is purple. Uh, similarly, other uh, thermalics like disassemble, putting the, uh, the, the sub assemblies apart from the main assembly and uh, disassembling the things is uh, represented by a symbol of this kind and uh, the abbreviation is DA. It is shown by the light violet color. The inspect is checking for uh, the quality, quantity or the dimensions represented by the abbrevi uh, abbreviation is uh, represented by this symbol and the abbreviation is I and uh, burnt archery and here pre-position 
putting the things in place from where it can be positioned and the, the, the uh, abbreviation is PP and palette blue is the color which is used to show. The release load is just uh, after reaching to the destination the things are released with the control of hand. From the control of hand when things are released it is uh, shown by the release load and uh, the symbol is like this and uh, the abbreviation is RL and the Cameron red is the color which is used to show the release load. Transport empty when hand is uh, moved from one place to another without any resistance or the load in it. It is uh, uh, represented by a symbol of this form abbreviation is TE and olive green is the color which is used to show the transport empty and the rest, uh, rest is when the operator is not working, he is idle and recovering from the fatigue uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, becoming ready for the another uh, cycle of the work. Here uh, abbreviation for rest is R and shown by the orange color and unavoidable delay, uh, the period when work is not done due to the forced factors like uh, the work cannot be done because of the machine failure by the workman. Then unavoidable delay will be represented by in the symbol like this and UD is the abbreviation for unavoidable delay and yellow is the color which is used to show it. Avoidable delay means which uh, is being caused due to the factors which are within the control of the worker or of the management which can be avoided from stopping the work. Uh, so, here this avoidable delay is represented by a symbol of this kind and AD is the abbreviation which is used to show avoidable delay, lemon yellow color is uh, used uh, to show the avoidable delay and a plan when uh, operator is thinking about what is to be done next for uh, uh, in course of uh, production or the operation, the, P, the symbol of this kind is used to show uh, the plan and the PN is the abbreviation that is used and the brown is the color which is used to show the thermalix. These thermalix can be clearly seen in one sheet itself along with their symbols and the colors. Use of thermalix means uh, if one is aware of the different thermalix and if he has uh, recorded the activity which is to be investigated then he will be able to see the things more clearly what are the different divisions of the movements or the group of the movements being used for performing the job. If uh, the thermalics uh, are used then it will help to provide more precise and detailed description of the work than any other method which has been discussed earlier or so far. However, in this technique, this technique is good for the experts only, it is not good for the trainees at it, as it needs lot of expertise that is why uh, the, the, the newcomers or the less experienced work, work study men should not try it out. Uh, one of the techniques of the micro motion study is uh, the SIMO chart where uh, the short cycled operations are recorded using the cine cameras and uh, the activities are then broken down into uh, the, the, the different thermalix uh, uh, into the uh, small divisions of the movements or a group of movements using thermalix and they are recorded on a common time scale. Uh, the SIMO chart is the abbreviated form of uh, the simultaneous motion cycle chart is a one form of is a one of the micro motion study techniques. It is used when work cycle is highly repetitive and of very short cycle duration. It, it is prepared after analyzing the film used to record the thermalix or group of thermalix performed by the different parts of the body of one or more workers on a common time scale. So, basically it records the different thermalix which are being used for carrying out a particular job on common time scale by one or more workers. Uh, it is another uh, form of uh, the left hand right hand chart with the difference that it is drawn to, to the time scale and using thermalix. Thermalix. 
So, thermal X uh, uh, provides the things in greater detail of very short cycle jobs uh, while in, in two hand process chart or left hand right hand process chart thermal X are uh, not used where only the four uh, elements of the work are used which are operation, uh, delay, hold and um, the transport. However, their meaning uh, meanings are different from compared to what uh, uh, is there in case of the flow process chart. So, left hand compared to the left hand right hand process uh, chart, uh, the SIMO chart provides the greater detail on common time scale using Thermalix. For preparing the SIMO chart, uh, uh, a film of the work cycle is prepared first and that is studied and uh, that film is prepared using the high speed cameras. So, uh, so that all uh, uh, all elements of the work can be captured without disturbing the worker. So, this is the first step for uh, uh, preparing the SIMO chart, the uh, film of uh, uh, the uh, work cycle is captured in such a way that no element of the work is lost and uh, this is done without disturbing the worker when work is being carried out at normal pace. And uh, when the film is analyzed, it helps to give us various information and uh, that analysis can be used to find out uh, to, um, to see that how much time is being taken by a particular activity uh, or the thermalic or group of the movements. So, the time study can be made if the film is run at a normal speed and uh, seeing the film several times before recording uh, uh, to become familiar. So, before recording the films uh, uh, before uh, breaking down uh, the cycle, short cycle operation into uh, the small group of the movements, film is seen number of times to become familiar what are the exact movements being used for carrying out a particular job and thereafter um, uh, the efforts are made to break up the short cycle operation into the small group of the movements and uh, that is that is known as dividing the entire work cycle into the thermalix. So, see the film several times to familiarize yourself first and uh, then start the recording of the different thermalix like hand, arm, leg and head movements are analyzed as per the requirement. So, film is studied if at the normal speed and that can give the time required for carrying out a particular job in form of group of movements. For preparing the SIMO chart record the motions and time data in study sheet from the film analysis and the film projections can be stopped at any point or projected at a the slower motion and the movements are recorded against the time measured in wink. Wink is a time unit which is used for recording the sign for recording the various thermalix and this wink is very small. One wink is equal to 1000 is 2000th of a minute 1 by 2000th of a minute. Wing counters have been used earlier for recording the time, but nowadays various advanced time recording techniques are uh, and devices are available. Memo motion photography is the another technique uh, of uh, recording the various activities uh, which are being carried out in course of the production, uh, but uh, it is different from the micro motion study instead of using the high speed cameras or the common cine cameras, uh, the photography in memo motion study is carried out in uh, interrupted manner. The photographs are not taken uh, continuously or at uh, the rate of 24 frames per second, but the photography is carried out at uh, say half uh, one photograph in half second or one photograph um, in four seconds. So, there is a uh, uh, the photographs are taken at a certain interval of time. So, it is a form of time lapsed photography which records the activities 
using a cine camera to take the picture at a longer intervals than normal and the time interval usually lies between the half seconds to the 4 seconds and the camera is generally placed with a view over the whole work area uh, to take the pictures and which in turn results in that the activities of 10 to 20 minutes can be compressed into 1 or 2 minutes. So, this is the advantage that uh, our long duration jobs can be easily recorded in 1 or 2 minutes and these can be scanned to see the general pattern of the movements in the shop floor or of the worker or the material movement. So, as far as use of the memo motion study is concerned because of its uh, interrupted nature of the recording, uh, the very short films are made uh, of uh, the work cycles which, con which may continue for long duration. It helps to get a very rapid survey of the general pattern of the movement and uh, uh, the from the general pattern of the movement where larger movements are taking place and where the wasted efforts are being taken place that can be detected. So, the presence of any wasted efforts or unnecessary extra movement if are detected then the suitable steps can be taken to eliminate them. This method is very economical and offers considerable possibility for uh, its application because it can be uh, very quickly analyzed and immediately gives the general uh, and the rapid survey of the general pattern of the movement in the shop floor. Uh, it uh, the memo motion study that is why it can be effectively used for long cycle tasks which can continue for 2 hours or 4 hours. So, a regular cycle operations also it can be effectively used for the study purpose. Group techniques extending over long period say whole day can be studied using the memo motion study technique or the flow of the traffic on highway banks or the stores can be studied using the memo motion based study technique. Cycle graph is another recording technique where general pattern of the movements of the hands is recorded and uh, that is uh, uh, traced using uh, uh, with the help of a light source which is mounted uh, in on the hand uh, uh, in form of wrist watch or uh, as a ring in, in the finger or the uh, light source which is mounted uh, as a um, on the helmet of uh, the individual which uh, he is wearing during the operation. So, the position of the light source helps to trace in which way either individual is moving in course of production or his body parts are moving in course of production. Cycle graph is a record of path uh, of the movements usually traced by a continuous source of the light uh, on the photograph. So, a continuous source of the light is used to trace the path of movement of either body parts or of the human being in course of production. Path of movement of a hand may be recorded on a photograph by putting a ring carrying a small light source on the worker's hand or path of light uh, when traced it resembles like a white wire uh, and uh, later this uh, can be used with the stereoscopic camera to show the path in three dimensions. The typical uh, for a cycle graph can be seen as a white lines indicating the path of movement of uh, the hands during the work. The purpose if the purpose uh, is to record the path over which worker moves the light may be attached to the helmet of the worker. So, if a general pattern of the movement of the human being or of the operator is required, then light source is fitted in the helmet of the worker, which will general uh, will will give the general pattern of the movement of worker in course of production. But it is difficult to find out how much time is being taken to move the hand from one location to the another, and that is why the speed of movement or the time required for performing the movement from one uh, uh, 
uh, position to the another of uh, performing one task to the another how much time it will take that cannot be recorded using cycle graph. The chrono cycle graph in that way very effective because it helps to find out that uh, what is the speed of the movement in which direction movement is uh, taking place and uh, 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 these information are in addition to what can be obtained uh, from the cycle graph. Cycle graph simply shows the path of movement of the human being in course of production or path of movement of the body parts like uh, the finger during the operation or during the work. It is a special form of uh, uh, the cycle graph in which light source is suitably interrupted so that the path appears as a, sh as a pear shaped dots in which uh, the, the light source path uh, light source indicates the path in which the, the body parts are moving, but that path will appear in form of pear shaped dots and uh, this is uh, this uh, uh, pear shaped dots are obtained because of interruption in, in the light source and that interruption in light source is obtained by a tuning fork which is vibrating at known speed and connected with make and break contact. So, the lights are uh, the light source is uh, uh, made to make uh, on and off at a particular frequency and uh, uh, the, the light source may be fitted on, on the helmet or in form of a uh, uh, ring or in form of a uh, uh, wrist watch on, on the hand of the worker to trace the path of the hand movement or the workers movement in general. So, speed and the direction of the movements can be easily scanned uh, and studied using the chrono cycle graph. Uh, the pointed end of the pier shaped dot indicates the direction of the movement and uh, the spacing between the dots indicates uh, the speed of the movement. So, these are the two important information which can be gathered from the chrono cycle graph and the application of these recording techniques is limited as compared to the flow process chart and the diagrams as mentioned earlier because these techniques are for the experts and a lot of improvement can be made using the outline process chart, flow process chart, two hand process chart, flow diagram, uh, travel chart, a string diagram. These techniques uh, which have been discussed earlier. Uh, provides lot of scope for significant improvement in the productivity of the organization. But the micro motion study based uh, techniques and the cycle graphs and chrono cycle graphs will allow the increase in improvement of the productivity, but that will be very marginal and that is why uh, efforts are made to use those techniques which can result in significant improvement. Uh, of uh, improvement in productivity of the system and subsequently these advanced techniques are used. So, uh, once uh, the recording of uh, the activities which are being used for performing a particular job uh, is over, uh, after that it is important that what is being done actually for uh, producing a particular product is investigated critically, whether the method being used is correct, what are the extra unnecessary movements taking place, what is the scope for using the same equipment or designing it in such a way that it needs less effort and less time. So, what are the various possibilities related with the existing method uh, that is investigated by the critical investigation or examination of the existing method. So, existing method which has been recorded is critically examined to see what is correct and what is incorrect with the given method or existing method and this examination forms the basis for the improvement or development of the new method. So, what is the critical examination? Critical examination of the information recorded about the process in charts and diagrams is one of the most important phase because success of uh, 
uh, a successful critical examination leads to a very good solution for improved productivity or improved method and in which uh, the each element of the work in critical examination each element of the work is recorded uh, as recorded on the chart is subjected to a systematic and a progressive series of the questions with the purpose of determining the reason for which it is done and also to find out uh, uh, find out the possible alternatives so whatever activity or the step is being done in the existing method is challenged for its existence and also uh, imposed with a series of systematic and progressive questions progressive series of questions with the purpose of uh, determining what for that activity is carried out whether it is necessary or not uh, and if it is necessary then what are the possible alternatives for doing the same step using some other uh, means or other method when critical examination of the recorded activities is carried out it reveals that what are the productive and unproductive elements in in uh, in carrying out a particular job the, if when the systematic questioning technique is applied it uh, reduces the possibility of missing any information which may be useful for the development of the new method means it is so systematic when applied in sequential manner it reveals all the possibilities related with the existing job and also reveals that what are uh, the unproductive elements related with work and where there is a improvement uh, for developing a new method uh, it is defined as a, the questioning technique is defined as a means by which critical examination is conducted and each activity is subjected in turn to a systematic and a progressive questions so here uh, the critical examination of the recorded method is carried out using uh, uh, using a systematic and a progressive series of the questions and these are a systematic and a progressive series of questions is imposed on each activity which is a part of the work or the uh, or the step uh, which is required to be done for doing a particular job the flow process chart we have seen records the five different elements of the work namely operation transport inspection storage and delay the significance of these elements have already been elaborated here only the operation leads the product closer to the leads the raw material uh, closer towards its completion transport is about the movement of the man and material inspection is about checking the quality and quantity of the product the storage is about uh, uh, the putting the things under some sort of authorization and uh, the delay is when the material is kept under unauthorized conditions and uh, just say it is uh, it is waiting to be unpacked or it is waiting for further processing these five elements of the work which are uh, uh, part of the work in uh, all types of the activities are uh, uh, divided into into the two broad groups these are uh, uh, the so those elements uh, which in 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 which uh, uh, something is carried out with the work uh, those uh, elements uh, which in which something is carried out with the work piece uh, which helps for its completion as a product uh, these elements like material is being worked its size and shape is changed its composition is changed or when the material is being inspected for its uh, dimensions for finish or when material is being transported in in all these cases the material or the semi processed product uh, is touched uh, uh, touched during the operation so those activities in which something is actually happening with the material or the work piece like uh, the transport operation and inspection these are the three elements 
three elements grouped with this category while in other two categories where a storage and a delay elements are there these are those elements uh, in which the work piece or the raw material is not being touched upon when these elements are involved. So, the, there are certain elements um, like operation, inspection and transport in which work piece is touched to uh, and something happens with it uh, which helps uh, it to uh, complete its uh, progress uh, or uh, which helps to move the raw material uh, in forward direction towards completion. While in other two elements the work piece is not actually touched it is just lying here or there under either authorization or without authorization. The further grouping of these elements is made on the basis of uh, like make ready activities those uh, activities which helps to prepare the job for further processing. Make ready activities may be very important for uh, producing a product or for doing the job like setting and holding of the raw material tools, degree, uh, degreasing the product, transporting and clearing the things. These are the make ready activities and uh, which uh, will be important for further further processing or for carrying out any operation on the product. Do operations are those which actually change the shape, size or the composition or the physical condition of the object. Do operations uh, carry the product forward towards its completion. While the make ready activities may be very necessary uh, for doing the do operations, but uh, these does not carry the product forward towards its completion. On the other hand, the third category of the activities are those um, which are uh, carried out after completion of the do operation like put away activities. Work is moved aside, putting away activities for one operation may be the make ready activity for the another operation. Out of these three groups of the elements, if you see and the make ready activities and the put away activities may be very important for completing the job, but these do not uh, bring the product forward towards its completion. Uh, only the uh, do operations take the product uh, forward towards its completion. Uh, the elements which are required in course of production and which are uh, kept to the minimum side or efforts are made to eliminate them. Make ready activities and put the put away activities may be represented by the transport or and the inspection symbols. Aim of obviously is to have the high proportion of the do operations because these are the only operations which uh, help uh, which uh, take the product forward towards its uh, completion. Since these are the only ones which carry the product forward in its progress from the raw material to the completion. These are the productive activities and all others may be necessary, but considered non-productive. And that is why in any work efforts are always made to have the high proportion of the do operations, while other activities may be necessary, but those activities should be as less as possible as the, though they are considered as unproductive or non-productive. To find out that what is productive and what is unproductive, what is necessary and what is unnecessary and irrelevant a questioning technique is applied in sequence. So, here we see the other activities which are considered non-productive including storage and delay. Uh, will be targeted first, efforts will be made to reduce the non-productive activities first and uh, the unnecessary and the redundant activities are identified thereafter by imposing a series of questions in second uh, in, in sequence. These questions on the recorded data for each step and each major activity are imposed 
uh, are considered and uh, the each activity is imposed by a series of questions in terms of the purpose of that activity, where that activity is carried out, in which sequence it is carried out, who will be doing that particular activity or how that activity is carried out. So, the uh, each activity which is a part of uh, the work and which is uh, one major step in carrying out a particular job is challenged for its existence in terms of the purpose, place where it is carried out, per se sequence in which it is done, person who is doing it and the means. So, this is the sequence and the order which is maintained in asking the questions uh, for regard uh, of uh, questions for a particular activity uh, uh, and the each activity of a particular job. Uh, and the questions will be asked about all these five uh, items. And the procedure for a critical examination follows the two sets of the questions. These are known as the primary questions and the secondary questions. And uh, the primary and secondary questions, both uh, types of the questions uh, will be made out of those uh, uh, the, uh, uh, five objectives in respect of which a given activity is analyzed. Like a primary questions, uh, in primary questions it will be asked like what is done, why it is done and where it is done, why it is done in that place, uh, in which sequence it is done, why it is done in that sequence. So, the justification is asked for each and everything which is uh, being done actually. At, uh, for a particular element or activity. Well, in the secondary questions, uh, alternatives are obtained and uh, the possibilities are uh, explored to see that what is, uh, uh, what is to be done and what should be done for improved method. So, primary questions, uh, answers to these questions, primary questions are asked and answers to these questions show up the necessity of carrying out the activity, uh, while the secondary questions um, when asked answers to these questions allow the considerations to the alternative methods of doing the activity. The selections of uh, selection of the best way of doing each activity is later determined to, de uh, de to develop the new method which is uh, introduced as a standard practice. So, here when uh, um, the critical examination is applied uh, on the recorded method, first of all primary questions are asked and the primary questions will be about why that particular step or activity is being carried out and then uh, what are the various other alternatives and options uh, about which information is gathered after the secondary questions. The primary questions uh, are asked like for purpose, place, sequence, person and the means. The purpose, uh, the two for primary questioning, the two questions are asked regarding this say purpose. Uh, these questioning will be applied in sequence and in one particular order, order in which it has been given. The purpose, what is done, what is the purpose of particular activity and uh, why uh, and what is done uh, when that activity is carried out and why it is why is it done thereafter the place uh, regarding the place where it is done and why is it done at that place and uh, a sequence when is it done and why is it done at that movement movement the per regarding the person who does it and why that person only does it and means how is it done and why is it done by that means only. And these questions are asked keeping in mind that where elimination of particular activity is possible, where simplification is possible and where a, a combination of some of the activities is possible. So, these response to these questions are checked carefully and the possibility is explored to see what is redundant, what is unnecessary so that it can be eliminated and what are the activities which can be combined together.
to reduce the time required to carry out the job and where unnecessary complexity is existing uh, that is also identified to see that what simplification can be done so that the, the job can be completed easily and with the less effort. So, based on the response to the primary questions, the secondary questions are applied further if it is found that the purpose of a particular activity is irrelevant and not required then elimination of that activity itself may be thought of and if it is to be eliminated then there is no need to question about where it is done and when it is done, how it is done and who will do it. So, the purpose of particular activity is very important and if it is redundant and unnecessary it, it can be easily eliminated from the step which is being used for uh, carrying out a particular job. So, the secondary questions are applied after getting uh, the satisfactory answer that this is the purpose because of which this particular activity is required. If the purpose has been justified a uh, possibility can be explored what else can be done to get the same results or uh, if uh, there are various options what should be done. The second question will help us to get that uh, for getting the similar results the, or the better results this is what should be done. So, if uh, we are getting various options regarding the, uh, the uh, regarding the way by which uh, the same activity can be carried out uh, uh, for getting the better results in terms of the purpose uh, uh, options uh, are fixed uh, to find out what should be done and uh, the place regarding the place secondary question is asked about where else uh, it can be done what are the other possibilities to see that uh, where it can be done and where should it be done it, it will be fixing the place where it should be done and thus regarding the sequence when can uh, it be done means uh, the in which order it should be done uh, it, it, there may be one particular order and the sequence in which it is done but uh, uh, the possibilities are also explored that from if we do at uh, in this sequence or in that sequence what kind of results can be obtained or the better results can be obtained. So, what are the options as far as when can it be done and uh, then fixing a particular solution like when should it be done. So, when should it be done is asked really fixing of one particular sequence where it is to be done. The person uh, who else can do it is it possible to replace him by someone else or who should do it is fixing of that person with the certain or given characteristics should be used for the analysis and means how else it can be done and who should do what are the other techniques and the systems which can be used to do the same job and which should actually be used for the better results. So, this uh, this is the way by which primary questions and secondary questions are imposed and uh, the each and every activity is challenged to see what is important for um, carrying out a particular job and uh, what are the various options and which option should be uh, selected in terms of the purpose, place, sequence, person and the means. Here in detail we will see uh, this uh, question primary questioning in terms of the purpose, the need of uh, carrying out the activity is challenged by questioning what is achieved, is it necessary and why. If the answer to these questions determine whether the particular activity will be included in the proposal of the new method or not. If the answers are unsatisfactory then the same can be eliminated also. The place, the location of carrying out the activity is challenged by questioning where is it done and why there it is carried out. Oh, regarding the sequence the, uh, the time of carrying out the activity is challenged by uh, the question when is it done and why then. Uh, the question regarding the person is asked about the level of the skill and the person 
performing the activity is challenged by questioning who does it and why that person and uh, regarding the means the means of carrying out the activity uh, are challenged by question how is it done and why in that way uh, basically the primary questioning reveals the unnecessary and if he inefficiency in existing method in respect of the means, the sequence, person and the place where job is carried out. So, these uh, will help uh, to find out the various venues where um, uh, and the various alternatives which can be used to improve the existing method and those alternatives are explored by the secondary questions. Aim of secondary question is to arrive at suitable alternatives to the presently used method regarding the purpose if the answer to the primary question is is the activity necessary and uh, if that question is convincingly yes an alternative to achieve the object uh, of carrying out the activity are considered by questioning what else can be done and uh, regarding the place other places of carrying out the activity are considered by questioning where else could it be done and uh, regarding the sequence a secondary question asked under this uh, heading is when else could it be done and uh, regarding the person the possibility for carrying out the activity by other person are considered by asking question how else should uh, do it, who else should do it and uh, regarding the means all uh, the alternative means to achieve the object are considered by question how else uh, could it be done and uh, after the secondary questions response to the secondary questions we will be able to have certain options and uh, we will be able to fix up also the what are the options which uh, should be taken up for developing the new method. So, if the number of options are available we will have to select uh, for developing the improved method answers from the secondary questions from the basis for a, a proposal of the improved method and uh, therefore, various options are available should be evaluated uh, to uh, uh, for the selection of a particular option in development of the new method. Evaluation phase requires the work study men to consider all the possibilities with respect to the four factors like what is the economic importance and economic effect of particular option, what is the effect on the safety, what is the effect on the quality of the work that will be delivered after improvement and how about the human factor influence on the human being who are involved in carrying out the particular job. Most of the time economic factor being the most important in most of the situations while uh, selecting the particular option. So, as far as uh, evaluation of the alternatives on the basis of economic consideration is concerned for any alternative it is determined how much it will cost. If particular new method is to be um, implemented how much it will cost and how much saving it will result in and uh, regarding the safety the new method should not impose any kind of safety related problems to the worker it should ensure that alternative selected shall not make any uh, make the work less safe and uh, the quality uh, uh, factor uh, the, the new method or uh, new options uh, or uh, alternative options are evaluated in terms of the quality factor to see whether alternative selected shall make uh, better product quality or not and the human factor is evaluated in the way that alternative method will be interesting, easy to learn, safe, less monotonous and less fatiguing to the operator or not. So, in this way now I would like to summarize this presentation. In this presentation in the beginning I have covered some of the film based and the photography based recording techniques for the method study and thereafter the critical examination technique which includes the primary and secondary questions to see what are the unproductive steps and uh, the productive activities being um, done in existing method 
and uh, response to these primary and secondary questions helps to find out that what can be done for developing the new uh, and improved method for carrying out the job and improving the productivity. Thank you for your kind attention.